Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of Got Lex. 2016 is officially over now, and it's time to look ahead for 2017. But before we do that, I wanted to just go through some of the highlights I had for 2016. And uh, let's go. So the one thing that was the biggest uh, event uh, of the year for me was uh, actually becoming a dad. My son was born on October 16th uh, and has just been a treat ever since. I was a bit nervous about how I would react when I actually had a son and my own kid and all that. And um, I can just say that you learn to, to make your way around it. It's just a phenomenal feeling of being a father and seeing how he evolves uh, every day. So for those of you who are in the process of becoming dads or moms, just go with the flow it's just an amazing feeling when when they're here and uh the nine months leading up to it is also pretty exciting so that was without a doubt the biggest event of my year now if we talk cycling i did 10,905 kilometers which is approximately uh 360 hours of training i have had bigger years but when i look into um the way my uh, the last couple of years have been, I'm very satisfied with that amount. Um, coming off of a year and a half with just a lot of uh, um, knee-related uh, issues that has been bugging me quite a bit, it was a great feeling to go through uh, the summer and just having uh, the power in the legs once again and not being uh, afraid to push. And also uh, the fact that I was able to ride my bike without having too much trouble with the knee. So uh, just short of uh, 11,000 kilometers is pretty decent for me at least. Some of the riding this year was actually uh, abroad. Uh, we usually go to um, a suburb to Nice in the south of, south of France every year. Uh, where I also had my bike this year. Uh, I didn't do uh, as much riding as I would have loved to do because I was a bit ill at the time. But I did some of the climbs down there. It's just a fantastic area to ride. And also uh, during um, fall, we went to uh, Mallorca, where I also did some, some riding. Again, just coming off illness. Illness has basically been a pretty big part of the year, actually, this year. but. I did some writing down there as well and it's just amazing to see some of the climbs that I haven't seen since 2012 once again. So it's been great. I'm not very built to to ride in the in mountains or anything like that, but I really enjoy the views and, and the fact that you can uh, push yourself to the limits uh, while going up. 2016 was also the year where I returned to racing. I had my last race in 2014 before having all these knee problems. Um, 2015 I was very close to being back but didn't have the guts to actually go through with riding again because I was afraid that it would just annoy the knee once again and I had to start over. But in 2016 I took the plunge and actually rode my uh, the first race I did was actually a short time trial of 30 kilometers I think and I was second to last I think I was. Um, didn't go as planned, but it was just great to be back, uh, putting on a skin suit and riding uh, with all the power that I had at the time. Uh, my knee wasn't perfect. I had a lot of uh, pain in my uh, glutes uh, because they were not used to that position. And um, But it was great being back in the atmosphere and actually being out racing once again. And then after the summer break, I was back on my road bike once again and did three races uh, where the two first I didn't finish. Uh, they were actually um, on consecutive days. So the first one uh, I lasted a couple of laps and the other one just the day after I was just, I didn't have any, um, what do you call it? I didn't have any energy at all. So I was dropped within the first kilometer or so and never returned to the pack. So I just abandoned after one lap. But the last race I did, I actually completed. I had to let go of the peloton with about uh, one and a half laps left and completed um, the race solo, um, coming in dead last and everything, but I, at least I managed to to um, finish the race, which I hadn't done previously. So that was great, just being back 
uh, riding with the guys once again, um, feeling that uh, you can hear Dave in the back background probably, uh, and feeling basically that I have the power to be uh, at that place once again. So, uh, and also I ended the year by doing our uh, club championship in which I crashed, but I actually uh, in the race uh, before we had the official uh, championship, I actually placed pretty well. So great to see that uh, and great to feel that the condition and the, um, the sh uh, shape uh, uh, has been good this year. I also got a couple of new bikes in 2016. The first bike I got was uh, the Specialized Shift TT. I traded or I sold my Parley TT bike and I was able to get a great deal on a Shift TT bike and was also able to get a very good deal on some Envy wheels, which were the first that I ever got. So I've been riding a lot on the TT bike this year or this in the latter part of the season and I feel that it, I'm getting better at being in the position, at, but I'm never going to be a time trial uh, rider. But I think it's fun. I, I like uh, going out and just smashing it. Uh, but I probably do better on shorter time trials at least. And the second bike I got is the one you've probably seen me just complete. Um, it's basically a copy of the one that I had before, uh, the specialized uh, new tarmac. Uh, but this time it was uh, built with some different components. So I got SRAM E-Tab and got some NV wheels for it and also a lighter saddle and, and all that. But two new bikes in one season is pretty good. I had a goal for the season and that was to actually see Alberto Contador. Coming into 2016, he claimed that was, this was would be his last season of racing and he's been one of my idols uh, for quite a while now. So I really wanted to see him actually ride uh, in the flesh. So when we heard that he was going to race in uh, Paris-Nice, Paris -Nice, um, and we were in uh, Nice at the time, it was obvious that, obviously that uh, we had to go and watch him. So me and my girlfriend actually uh, rode up to uh, the second to last stage, I, was, I think it was, on a mountaintop finish and parked the car and waited for an hour, an hour and a half and saw him. And it was a great, great uh, experience to actually see him in the flesh. Unfortunately, he didn't win. He didn't even win the stage or anything, but he was in the leading group at the time. And the day after we went down to Nice and saw the, the last um, stage where he actually attacked for the lead, uh, but didn't quite uh, pull through. So we got to see him once again on the podium, but great seeing Alberto Contador. And now it turns out that he's going to race again this season, but I saw him last season. And 2016 was also the year that I started vlogging. Um, I got a GoPro camera back in 2015 for my girlfriend, but never got around to using it really. So a couple of months ago, I decided to do some vlogging just because I really enjoyed it. And um, I've kept on ever since. So I really enjoyed it and I hope you enjoy it as well. So that was the recap of my 2016. I don't really know what 2017 will bring. I have some uh, some ideas. We're going to uh, the south of France once again in a couple of months. I am hoping that I can participate in the national uh, championship in uh, our time trials. Uh, probably will be dead last, but it's just something that I really want to do. Um, and then just go out and uh, do a lot of races. So hopefully 2017 will be as good as 2016 has been. Once again, if you like what you see, make sure to subscribe to the channel and watch the other videos. And uh, I'll be back sooner or later. Bye.